Ready to go at the line as they set back up in a side-by-side -side formation for this 20-lap feature event. Nobody dominating yet this season in the Superstocks. Wide open in this class so far. We'll see who finds victory lane tonight. Treble and Evan Sanis. Down to the green flag. Here we go. Treble going to use that coming to the inside line to take the lead. Oh, Sanis all kinds of sideways. Three wide down the back stretch. Meyer off into the grass. Look counter. Out he goes. And the yellow flag will fly. So the yellow flag comes out. No laps complete. We're going to put this one back to the top of the order. That one could have been a whole lot worse. Terry Van Roy had a real good look at that 26. Snap sideways and around in the wrong way on the back stretch. But the veteran racer able to hold them off. All right, want to go to the line, and we'll try it again here. By the way, we were talking about Terry Van Roy last week winning not only this race, but the figure eight race as well. Figure about 20 track championships to his name between the figure eights and the super stocks. Let's try it again. We're great. Oh, and now Rego and Timer get together and up into the outside rotating wall. And that's going to bring out the yellow again. Looks like both drivers are going to step away from the scene. Timer, a bit of a crinkle job on the nose. Doesn't look like the 51 is quite as lucky as there is a quite a bit of damage there to the left rear of Larry Rego's machine. By the way, in talking to Terry Van Roy about some of these cars out there, he figured Larry Rego's might be the oldest. They think that was built right around 1994, and he's been racing it since. One of the kids here weren't even born in 1994. Were you? Oh, hi. 94, I was... This is nine. I think I was hanging out here quite a bit. Probably. 95 for sure. Maybe 94. But well, there you go. Gonna keep that thing rolling anyway. That's the nice thing about some of those older cars. They can take a little bit more of a beating. So still 20 laps remaining in this one. And now the question starts to become, who can stay out of trouble the longest? We do go back to the top of the order once again, which means that Jeff Treble and Evan Sanis will lead the field of green. Nice to see that station wagon back out here. Wayne Sankowski behind the wheel of the four. And now we see the 59 of Terry Van Roy. He's gonna get a fortunate starting spot. Rachel Meyer offer was our fast qualifier tonight, the 21. Next, Wisconsin Sport Trucks, 20 lap feature events. Great point battle early on already in the Sport Trucks. Kylie Vandermoss with two feature wins on the season. She was the point leader coming into tonight. You really have to tip the cap to Vandermoss and her team for making that truck last all season long. That's been an issue for a lot of the other Wisconsin Sport Truck drivers is getting those things to last through the 20 lap features. Hasn't been a problem yet for the 99 truck. All right, well we're gonna try this in single file formation now. Give these drivers a little bit more space. 
more elbow room. And with 20 laps, it's plenty of time to work your way through. Trouble coming down to the green. Now Sanis right on the tail of the 65 as they exit the turn, trying to get down to the inside. Trouble says no. Inside line is mine, but he trips up this time. Van Roy gets down to the bottom on Sankowski. They'll go side by side for third down the back stretch. Terry Van Roy nosing ahead a little bit. That will leave the inside line open for Rachel Meyer Hopper if she can get there. Rachel down to the inside, going side by side now for four. Meanwhile, Sanis filling up the rear view mirror. Trouble trying to shake him off the inside line. One, two, three taps as they enter the corner. Trouble holds on. Sanis going to try to take it outside. Not even to get his look out. Great job by Van Roy and Meyer Hoffer to miss that. Sanis rolling the dice that time by jumping to the outside, trying to make it stick. Unfortunately, the gamble does not pay off. He goes for a spin and will head to the tail with three laps complete. Drivers have been warned that the next yellow will be accompanied by the checker. So we'll see if they can keep things rolling here for the next 17. Jeff Treble. Now Terry Van Roy in second and Rachel Meyer Hopper in third. Remember, Terry Van Roy won by sneaking to the outside last week. Back to green. Rachel thinking about going top side in the one and two. There was some space there, but she kept it tucked in line. Now where is TDR going to room? Van Roy trying to fake to the outside, opening into the inside, but Treble knows the move too well. Going to keep that 65 down on the inside line as much as he can. He will challenge Van Roy to take it to the top side again. Van Roy just biding his time now, back in second. Takes a look to the outside again. This time, Treble slides up just a little bit, trying to make Van Roy take the long way around. Meyerhofer looks inside, but then Van Roy tucks it back in line, and she had to back out. Terry Van Roy sizing up Treble in one and two again. A little trouble there for the 29 of Cody Shepard, apparently leaking some fluid out of that machine. going to exit off onto the half mile back up front Terry Van Roy still well within striking distance trying to find a way around Jeff Trimble in the 65 he's trying the crossover move from the outside to the inside but Trimble knows exactly what he's doing just keep that inside line sealed off Make Van Roy work to the outside. That's where he's going, but Treble jumps up a little bit. Again, Van Roy peeking to the outside. Not quite enough room out there. Now Sankowski going to get a little touch from Meyerhofer. That's Dave Meyerhofer in the 26, trying to work his way back to the top four. Top five all right there. Larry Rego back in the sixth spot trying to hold off Sanis. Van Roy patiently waiting back in second. Just past the halfway point. 11 laps have clicked off for this one. Van Roy again thinking about venturing up top this time in three and four. Looks outside, looks inside again. Same move over and over in trouble. Continues to keep the inside sealed off. The veteran Van Roy just hanging out now, thinking about the 
top side again. You gotta wonder where Rachel Meyerhofer is going to go if maybe she can get down to the inside before Van Roy can get back down to the bottom on one of these attempts. She's also gotta worry about that four car back there. Van Roy again peeking up top, but once more just know where to go. Trouble playing this one to perfection this far. Very close in three and four. Treble, a bit of a wheel hop off of the inside and that opened up the bottom line for Van Roy. No, it didn't. Van Roy had a look but couldn't get there in time as Treble slid a little bit that time in three and four after hitting the dust. And now Van Roy's gonna go back up top. Didn't work out though. Van Roy continuing to venture up top but all of the efforts are fruitless thus far. Look at that as Meyerhofer and Sarkowski get together. Meyerhofer on top of the four. That's going to wrap this one up. As we said, the drivers were warned that the yellow would be accompanied by the checker the next time around. Yellow comes out and Jeff Treble is going to take the feature tonight for the Nova Soto Glass Superstar. Dave Meyerhofer and Wayne Sankowski coming together there out of the turn. The safety crew, second time, they're going to have to deal with two cars hooked together. We're going to head down to victory lane with Lauren Leach, and I would imagine a very happy Jeff Trouble really ran this race the way he had to. Keeping that inside line sealed off, picking up his first feature win of the season. By the way, when Lauren's done with the interview, have your 50-50 tickets ready. We have a winner, and you can claim that inside the main ticket area. So again, after the interview, we will have your winning 50-50 ticket. Lauren, take it away. Hey, Matt, here's Jeff Tremor in victory lane here. We'll let you get the jacket out. It's a little hot, huh? There's the trophy and sticker. Congratulations on a great run there. You had just enough to hold him off. Yeah, very much. Uh, Terry's a very good guy. He's a very good runner. Uh, gave me a little bumper there, but that's what racing's all about. Right, guys? Pretty crazy early on there. Three laps, three cautions. What's going through your mind while you're leaving the race and that happens? Uh, I hope we get the race because usually they just say get the hell off the track because you guys aren't doing nothing. So I'm glad we got to finish most of it. Who makes this possible for you, Jeff? Well, first of all, I got to thank Todd Krauss for owning the car. I get this to beat the crap out of it every week, and he keeps repairing it for me so that I can come back and do it again. So without Todd, I can't do this. Uh, the sponsor for tonight, Ken Sports, without them and all the sponsors out in the track, we can never do it without them. So thank you very much. And I'd like to thank my sponsors is uh, Krauss Construction, Red's Apple Ale, Barrel Engines, Deepier Weimark, Dry Vans Rental and Deepier, Justin's Lawn Service. Thank you, Justin. Packerland Electric, Exhaust Pros of Green Bay, The Slammer in Greenleaf, Royal Custom Plastics, De Beer, Paul's Trailer and RV in Morrison, and thanks to Todd and Shaggy and Greg and De Dean and Ruth Cross, please. Thank you. Congratulations, Jeff Tremel!